Hey, what's going on everybody? This is JJ and in today's video we are going to work through vectors. Uh, we're going to apply it to a physics-based situation. In fact, the situation involves dogs tied to a light post. So if we read the problem, and sometimes the biggest challenge with problems, word problems like these, are just setting up the parameters, drawing diagrams if necessary, and just um, setting yourself up for success with problems. So we have two dogs that are pulling horizontally on ropes and that those ropes are attached to a post. Okay, the angle between the ropes is 60 degrees. If Rover, one of the dogs, exerts 270 newtons and Fido exerts 300 newtons, find the magnitude of the resultant force and the angle relative to Rover. Okay, so the resultant force tells me we need to add these guys. Um, but what does it really mean to add them? And then let's try and visualize these dogs pulling on a rope. So we could uh, draw, let's say the pole is our origin. And we could draw our axes, our two-dimensional grid. Here we go. Here we got the second dimension. Okay, and the pole is here. And you know, initially, you wouldn't know which way to draw the vectors. Um, just that the only thing that's important is that there's 60 degrees between them. So it doesn't really matter which way they're facing for our, for our problem, for our context, for our situation. So it's easier for me to think about these things when we start along the x-axis. So why don't we draw Rover along the x-axis? Because we want to measure the angle relative to him. So let's make this x-axis rover. And so let's draw a vector. He's pulling for 270 newtons. And then Fido is pulling for 300 newtons, exactly 60 degrees from rover. So this should be 300 newtons. And the angle between them is 60 degrees. So we could imagine this is the light post. This is the end of the rope for the dog and he's pulling for 300 newtons and we can actually name them Rover and Fido. Okay. Now we want to find the magnitude of the revolting, resultant force between these two. Between these two forces. Now initially you might think, well, let's just add 300 plus 270. Well, that's not going to give the correct answer we need to actually break this into components. So it's more involved than you might anticipate. So what are the X and Y components of each of these? Because if we're adding vectors, we can't just add their magnitudes. We have to add their component parts. So their X dimension, the X dimension and the Y dimension values. So what is the X and Y value? So what's the point right here for Fido? Well, we could do uh, the x component, which will be cosine. Let's use a different color. It's not bright enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yellow. I already did yellow. Let's do. Let's do blue. Perfect. So cosine of sixty degrees equals. Uh, the adjacent, which we don't know, x, we don't know this component right here. And then, but we do know 300, which is the hypotenuse, so x over 300, multiply both sides by 300, multiply by 300, we get 300 cosine of 60 equals our x component, and that is one hundred fifty. Okay, similar thing, but I'm gonna do a little bit of shortcuts just to speed things up. This time, sign of 60 and that is 259 newtons. So 
this right here is 150, 250, 9. And then we want to find this guy right here. So we'll do the same thing. This time we'll do 270 cosine, but the angle is zero relative to this x axis. So cosine of zero, which equals 270, because cosine of zero is one. And then 270 again, but this time sine of zero is just zero. So this right here coordinates would be 270, zero. And so now we want to add these vectors. So we want to add the x component with this x component. So 150 plus 270 i hat. And then we want plus 259 j hat, because then plus zero, which is just zero. So 150 plus 270 is 374 20 i hat plus 259 j hat, right? 300, 370, 30, 20, yeah, 420. And there we go. So that's going to be the coordinates of our resultant force somewhere in between these two. And so we can find the magnitude of this which is what we want to do by using the Pythagorean theorem, 420 squared plus 259 squared. This equals 493, roughly, rounded up, newtons. And then we want to know the angle of this new vector so we can plot it and imagine what it would look like in real life. And that is going to be arctan of our y of our 259 over 420. And that is roughly 32 degrees. So our new vector is going to be longer than the others. Let's say right there, 490. 3 newtons, and the angle is 32 degrees relative to rover. And so there we go. That is a cool physics problem. So you can imagine these dogs are pulling, and the force you would, the resultant force of these two dogs pulling is going to be right here, roughly 32 degrees, for a magnitude of 493 newtons. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.